Hey all, my name is JP. I'm gonna show you how to take control of your digital audio workstation with a touchscreen monitor. Okay, we definitely have Hans Zimmer to thank for this trend, but how are these composers hacking their workflow? Well, there are several vendors out there in the market right now, ranging from pretty cheap to not so much. Except, Open Stage Control, which along with being free, is one of the most flexible options out there. Okay, to get started, we're gonna need a couple files. The key to this whole operation is having a virtual MIDI port on your computer. For that, we're gonna use Loop MIDI. Next, MIDI key to key and SYN key are essential if you wanna use your touchscreen monitor to control Pro Tools or any other software that doesn't allow for customizable MIDI commands. Having a text editor like Atom or VS Code is really helpful when you wanna do custom modules. It is especially important for those of you who are gonna use a touchscreen that is connected via USB as opposed to over the network. Before we dive into the code, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be the first to know when I have another hack for your workflow. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's start playing around with Loop MIDI. First, name a port and input that into Open Stage Control. If you don't know what the input and output numbers are for your port, click on the list of MIDI devices and you can see it right there. Next, let's add our custom module. So this is where we open up Atom and that code pin from the browser. Copy that code in there and save the file as whatever. The important thing is the .js. That tells the browser that it is a JavaScript file. Okay, let's start the server. Tablet users, type what you see into a browser on your tablet and you should be good to go. If not, check your Windows firewall settings and please be sure to not share this information because this is your actual IP address. Okay, everybody, now you're in. Press Control E for edit mode and now let's add that script. Go to the root, add a widget, make that into a script. And what's important is that whatever is written in receive should correspond with the widget's ID and value. For the script itself, you need to write unfocus and open and close parentheses. This is so important, especially if you're using a touchscreen connected via USB, because every time you click on your touchscreen, you are focusing your touchscreen. What you need to do is focus Cubase or Pro Tools or whatever. If you don't do this, when you save or do something else after you touch the touchscreen, you'll be affecting open stage control instead of your DAW. The next thing to keep track of is the type of signal you're gonna send, the channel you're gonna send it on, and the number you're gonna assign to that channel. I do this in a really large Excel file, which I'll link below. Cubase is very simple to set up. We just need to add a generic remote and connect it to that MIDI port. Ableton and I believe even Logic Pro are very MIDI friendly, so this should work very well right off the bat. But now we need to do Pro Tools. We're gonna get creative with the Pro Tools keyboard shortcuts using MIDI key to key and send key. Once we've assigned a button to an action in MIDI key to key, we need to create a start program and link that to send key. Next, we need to fill in the variables for this. We'll do this with the help text file inside the send key download folder. So what we're gonna write is forward slash F, which focuses Pro Tools. And actually, you need to write tools because if you have another window open with Pro in it, it will focus that. Then I put forward slash P, which tells it to wait zero milliseconds before executing the next command. And then we're gonna hit the space bar. Now we're good to go pressing start and stop in Pro Tools. But what if we wanna do something more complicated, like add 10 mono audio tracks into stereo aux tracks? To do that, we need to be very creative with Pro Tools' keyboard shortcuts. Control Shift N opens up the dialog. Type 10. Next, when you click Tab, you'll be able to type in the name of the track. Now here's the fun part. Control Shift Down lets you add a new line. Type 2. Now Control Right will let you change the channel width. Control Alt Down changes the type of track, and then Tab again to type in the track name. Now press Enter. So assigning this to a MIDI key to key, just as simple, but we need some translation.
Whoops. It does take some tinkering, but with a little bit of patience and creativity, you'll be running circles around Pro Tools in no time. Let me know in the comments what shortcuts you would use, and then let me know if you wanna see more content like this, or if you want me to show you my template in more detail. All right, but until then, thanks for watching. Check this one out next.